I make abstract sculpture. It's not only pictorially abstract, it's also materially abstract. In the rotunda, I have made a sculpture, uh, the title of which is Conditions. It almost, in a way, looks like a sort of shallow cellophane bag that's full of creamy, sort of oily, raw material. It's made from cellophane, Vaseline, sellotape. There's lots of body moisturiser in there, body butters. I use very traditional um, sculpture making materials or art making materials, so plaster powder, a lot of chalk, a lot of paper, a lot of powder paint. And there's also some gold leaf, some broken glass, some thread, some wax. And so it's a very sort of raw, open, free sort of work, very expressive. Conditions, the word itself, I think of it as relating not only to sort of the weather or environmental conditions, but also the condition of an artwork as it arrives in an institution or a, a gallery. The conditions that surround the work are also, they also make the work as much as the material does or as much as I do. Upstairs then in the in the shern, you see lots of marks on the windows that are all made with lipstick. It's important to me also as a sculpture, so it's like mark making on, on glass. I'm trying to sort of deal with transparency as sculpture and they sort of look through the mark to the window, through the window to the mirror, through the mirror to the mark. And then on it, on it goes, you know, there's other work up there that's like Vaseline trapped between sheets of glass. There's a door. Um, that has been gold leafed and then it's been I've painted on the glass of the door. The marks that I can make on that glass door are permanent marks. I think of painting, especially traditional painting where you see a landscape or a representation or you know a still life or a painting of a room that's an elsewhere you know so it takes the viewer uh, through a sort of window onto another world but I feel like sculpture can offer that escape or that freedom but maybe even more so because instead of taking us elsewhere or out of the here and now or the physical reality that we're in it places us just much deeper into it so you're then absorbed into your physical reality or engulfed buy it and I feel like that can be a freedom and an escape in, it, in itself.